Welcome to WVD Demo of the Day. In today's video, I'm excited to share new functionality that has been highly requested by our customers. And that is the ability to create dynamic host pools with personal desktops, ones where users are assigned persistently to a particular session host VM. Now, previously, it was possible to create such host pools, but those host pools were static, meaning they could not be auto-scaled automatically through the Nerdio Manager. Starting with version 2.2 of the Nerdio Manager, it is now possible to create a dynamic auto-scaling host pool with personal desktop assignments and allow those machines to be powered on and powered off automatically based on predefined schedule. So let's take a look at how that works. We're gonna open up our demo workspace and click on add dynamic host pool. And what you'll notice is there is now a fourth option available to create a single user desktop that is of a personal slash persistent type, which means each user gets a persistent desktop assigned to them. We select that option, then we get to choose our assignment type. And there are two options here. There is automatic and direct. Automatic assignment means that any users who are entitled to use this host pool are going to be assigned to a desktop, the next available machine, whenever they log in for the first time. Direct assignment means that users can be pre-assigned to their desktops by the administrator in advance. So when they log in for the first time, they will be landed on the machine that the administrator has decided that they will use. My experience, automatic is much more common, so we will choose that option. One thing I forgot to do is create a name here. Let's call it Personal Dynamic Host Pool. We will then select our host count. Let's select three VMs to be added. This could be zero, one, or more. So let's go ahead with three. Um, let's add a name prefix of Personal01. Select our network select let's go with a windows 10 enterprise single session image we'll select our vm size in this case it's a two core eight gig of ram machine because this is a personal desktop it doesn't need to be too large we'll go with 128 gigabyte os disk select the resource group and we can even assign users uh, directly from this page let's go ahead and assign a test user and click ok so what's going to happen next is that this host pool will be created and the three desktops are going to be provisioned um, in just a few seconds, or at least the process will start and then it will take about 15 minutes or so for those desktop supervision. Once the host pool is created and the desktop provisioning is going, we are going to be taken to the manage auto scale screen that can allow us to manage how these desktops behave during work hours and outside work hours. So the first thing we'll do is we will turn auto scaling on. We will then select the working hours for the users of this host pool. So let's say it's gonna be Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. Central Time. And then we have a number of settings here that we can customize. The first setting is called power off aggressiveness. It is conceptually similar to scale in aggressiveness that you may be familiar with from our other host pool types. And there's three options. There is high, medium, and low. The high option means that it's going to aggressively power off the desktops regardless of whether there are sessions, user sessions on those desktops. And it's going to do that at the end of business hours. So if we select high in this particular case, then at 6 p.m., all the desktops will be powered off. The users will get a warning message and a time, time delay to log off of their machines. But once six o'clock arrives in the high aggressiveness configuration, they will be powered off forcefully. With medium aggressiveness, the system will automatically power off any desktops that have no active sessions. That means any desktops that have either zero sessions on them at the time or have disconnected sessions at the time when the business hours end, again at six o'clock. And then low aggressiveness means that any desktop VMs that have any sessions, whether it's an active session or a disconnected session, are going to not be powered off. So only those VMs that have no sessions at all are going to be powered off after business hours. So our default setting is medium, which means any 
non-session VMs or any ones with disconnected sessions are going to be scaled in. The next se se uh, setting is called power on timing. Now, power on timing has two values, either once or continuously. And what this means is as follows. The system will automatically make sure that by 8 a.m., all of the VMs that are part of this host pool are ready to go. Now, it can do that either once, right before 8 a.m., or it can do so continuously between 8 and 6. Now, why is this important? This is important if a desktop VM, for example, gets powered off during business hours. If you select continuously from this screen, it is going to be automatically powered on within a few minutes of being powered off by the user or by the administrator. Our default setting is once because typically powering all the desktops first thing in the morning before the start of working hours is sufficient, but you do have the option to change it to continuously. And then the final setting is called power off timing. Power off timing tells the system what to do with the VMs at 6 p.m., which is the end of business hours. At the end of business hours, the VMs could either be powered off once, which means that's gonna happen exactly at six, that's going to respect the power of aggressiveness settings we discussed earlier up here. And then once that set of VMs is powered off at six o'clock, the system will no longer power anything off. And then the following morning at 8 a.m., things are gonna get powered on. Our default setting is continuously. And the reason this is the case is because it allows users who have stayed logged in past six o'clock or maybe who have logged in after six o'clock, and we'll discuss how that could be possible in this scenario, to allow their machines to be powered off when they're no longer in use. So setting power off timing to be continuously means that any time after six o'clock, so between 6 p.m. and 8 a.m. outside of working hours, any time a VM is not being used by an active session because we have aggressiveness set to medium, is going to be powered off automatically to really conserve uh, compute. So uh, the messaging, as we talked about, is relevant with, when you're using high power of aggressiveness. This will send users a message and give them 10 minutes or however many minutes you need to, uh, to log off. But let's go ahead and click Save. And this is going to enforce the following behavior. So by 8 a.m. on Monday, our system will get powered on, and that will happen only once. All of the VMs inside of this host pool will be turned on. At 6 p.m., all the ones that have disconnected sessions or no sessions will get powered off. And continuously between 6 p.m. and 8 a.m., the system will search for any VMs with no active sessions and power them off as needed. Now let's imagine the situation where a user has logged in, worked you know, during business hours, their machine got powered off at 6 p.m. and now for whatever reason, they need to work outside of business hours, whether that be at night or on the weekend. Now this is possible, obviously they can escalate to an administrator and open a ticket to have their machine powered on, but it's actually possible for the user to power on their own machine. And here is how it works. They can be assigned a role. So let's go ahead and take a look at our users and roles section. And they can be assigned a role of an end user. And if you recall, when we created our new host pool, we assigned this user to that host pool. And this user also happens to have the end user role. Somebody with an end user role is going to be able to log in and manage their own personal desktop. Let's take a look at how that works. So I'm going to start a new in private window. I'm going to browse to the Nerdio manager and log in as the NMW tester account. And what you'll notice is that I will see both my pooled sessions that may currently be either active or disconnected, but also I will see my personal desktops that may exist in the environment. So for example, here I have a personal desktop that's currently turned on and I can power it off if I wanted to manually. Or if I'm working outside of business hours and I want to power on a particular personal desktop, all I need to do is click power on and click OK. 
And in a few, uh, in a couple of minutes, this machine will be turned on for me. So I will be able to log in and start working on that machine. And then as soon as I log off, based on the configuration of my dynamic personal host pool, it is going to be shut down within a few minutes automatically. So this is the dynamic personal desktop host pools uh, that are introduced in version 2.2. I hope you found uh, this useful and I will see you in the next video.